Hi. Hi. We're the Ray family. Dennis. Laura. I'm Nathan. Emily. Glenn. Harris. Nine. So my family uh, has been coming to the Walla Walla Presbyterian Church for uh, four generations now, and we are uh, no. we are blessed to have this church here and feel uh, the welcomeness uh, as a family, and we we feel the message here and opportunity to get closer to God and, and share God in our community um, is is a good is a good fit for us. Um, I first came to Walla Walla Prez uh, when Nathan and I were dating. We were still living back east, and um, we were home for a weekend visiting his family, and I got the pleasure of worshiping here. And it was actually during the um, renovation of the sanctuary, but um, so I got to meet families who had we'd been worshiping with since he was quite young, and we had service I think it was downstairs in the basement, and just a very welcoming, friendly place. So we knew that this was our church home when we moved here. Uh, I came to know Walla Walla Presbyterian Church uh, because I was uh, uh, came here all my life. I was baptized here and, and have attended ever since. I was led to Jesus, I think, by the Holy Spirit and by the fact that I knew that uh, I couldn't uh, go it alone in this world, and uh, I. Uh, I needed to be dependent on him, and I am dependent on him. I, I knew I needed to accept him as my savior, and I did that in junior high at uh, church camp at uh, Camp Gormley. What led you to Jesus? My mom and dad. What do you do at church here? Do you do Sunday school? Yeah. Do you like Sunday school? Yes. What do you learn? Growing up in the church, I was, uh, you know, very, we had a, a good group of young kids that I was around uh, at Sunday school here. We had a very engaged um, group of uh, parents that, that uh, helped young kids here get to know Jesus and get involved with um, church activities, whether it was uh, the camps or VBS or just Going, uh, going to families' homes for uh, Sunday school breakfast. Uh, a lot of good memories that um, that I can recall being paramount to my uh, coming to know Jesus better. And uh, you know, I think we we look forward to the opportunity for our kids to have those same experiences and learn more about Jesus and uh, the good things that He does and the good opportunities we have to to be uh, good stewards of, of, uh, of Christ's word, so. I think building pathways is, is important. Uh, number one, it will give us better access to all parts of the building. It will make younger families feel more comfortable. Um, mothers and dads can see where their children are gonna be, and access, of course, is, is the I think one of the most important. And we do need to modernize the, 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 the campus here. I think that's a really important uh, part of it. I personally have felt that um, the expansion or the, you know, the vision that we are seeing through with the Building Pathways program um, offers us a lot of opportunity um, for growth to live out our mission of knowing Jesus and making him known by um, hopefully having a, a more hospitable space to welcome in community members um, that, you know, through our efforts to outreach may have not felt that you know, this is an inviting space or may have not had opportunity to actually physically gain access to the building, 
Um, I think that you know, among the things that the renovations will do is, is, is actually, you know, creating those pathways both literally and figuratively to um, being able to grow our congregation and live out our mission. Um, my great-grandfather came here in 1903 and something about this church made him, you know, wel welcomed him. And I think we need to look at at the next generations uh, to come and see how we can better improve our um, facility so it's it stands for another hundred years and is uh, able to welcome more people here um, and give more people the opportunity to see what we're about and um, build on our um, on our on our long history here as a as a very uh, strong church. I think the, the opportunity to improve our infrastructure, uh, although it's not, um, it doesn't seem like a direct outreach or uh, um, investment in, in our outreach and community, the ability to make sure that our facility is capable of you know, uh, accepting people of, of, uh, of all types and getting uh, Having better accessibility for handicap, for um, as as generations uh, get older, and we all um, we all look at uh, yeah for our aging members and and future members, and as well as generations to come. You know, we'd love to expand and see more families um, feel comfortable here and worship because we have. Um, the ties and the inroads that they already have um, and, and can foster that welcomeness. Yeah, I think it's, a, it's an opportunity to improve, to um, allow more people to access our church and um, access, uh, be a part of our congregation and our community.